I'm Pat Bailey, and I'm a lefty. My name is Vincent, and I'm left-handed. There are so many examples of how this is a right-handed world, and that's the way things have to be. It's sad, but it's kind of hard for some areas of us, especially when we're going to middle school and we go to death. And most of the deaths are made for right-handed people. So I'm sitting there trying to write like this on the right-handed desk, and, you know, my scores were affected. It looks like they're sitting very uncomfortable. They have to turn their stuff usually. Faced with endless bias in the current right-wing regime, lefties are often forced to use tools in a right-handed fashion or somehow hold it backwards with their left hand, which is often dangerous. Well, um, the toilet paper is on the right. So that's a big issue. <laughs> you get in your car, you turn the car on, ignition's on the right side. You put it in gear on the right side. The flusher is on the left though, so they at least care about us cleaning up after ourselves a little bit. You want to change the radio station on the right side. What about if you Basically, Europe? Europeans are backwards, that's why we had the whole revolution thing to split away from, we didn't like that. Doors are made for, for right-handed people. You know, when you walk out of the door, you go like this and you can walk out. But if you're left-handed, you can't go like this and walk out your arm. It just doesn't work. Basically, the only thing a left hand is good for when you're driving is to do this in the wind out the window. If I want to use a left-handed mouse, I have to go into the system settings and do about five different things just to change it so I can click the other button. Just everything that you buy is set up for a right-handed person. I used to work at Circuit City and there are no left-handed mice available. Eating next to them at the dinner table. They have to sit at the end of the table. Well, they say that it's easier for them to eat if their left hand is, you know, towards the end of the table. Otherwise, you sit there and you start knocking elbows, you're knocking food off each other's fork. I don't make a big deal out of it, but uh, it is something that I notice when I go out to lunch with left-handed people. It can be a bit of a pain sitting next to a left-hander. So you go out to, to lunch with left-handed people a lot? Not too often, no. Uh -uh. And maybe there's a reason for that. He thinks I'm a lunatic. A co-worker of mine that's uh, left-handed and complains a lot. It felt awful when my hand would cramp up because I'd be trying to use scissors and I'd just try to participate with my classmates and then they would look at me and make fun of me because I'd sit there and try to cut. My paper wouldn't cut to begin with and then all of a sudden my muscles are tensing up and like you're trying to cut and the paper just keeps folding because there's something wrong with you. Then I'd just get so frustrated and I would cry and then I would walk out and then my teacher would fuss at me for leaving. And then you find out later, no, there's nothing wrong with you. It's because they were scissors made for the special people, the right-handers, when, you know, actually it just makes you feel like an outcast. Yeah, they just need to go away. Where would you suggest they go? Um, I was thinking like one of like as Azerbaijan or Uzbekistan or one of the sand countries. I think that everyone's left-handed there. That's where they usually like the old Soviet Union used to send their left-handed people there, actually, yeah. Um, I guess they could work an oil field in one of, like, Uzbekistan and contribute to society here by giving us oil to burn. The dinosaurs didn't adapt very well and it didn't turn out very well for them. What happened to the dinosaurs? The dinosaurs died out. There's a lot of stuff I would like to add about left-handed people. Well, to be honest, left-handed people make me just feel a little uncomfortable. I mean, they are completely different than the rest of the population, and as such, they're just, you know, they're the outsiders. Some people think we're bizarre. We don't seem to think so. Well, actually, I heard something that left-handed people are more creative than right-handed people. I'm not sure if that's 100% true. It's a proven fact that left-handed people are way more artistic and creative to begin with. The, the artwork which would be appreciated by any lefty. We've got the uh, intergalactic space uh, Eskimo who is asking us to submit. What? Can't forget the ballerina. The ballerina pencil. Huh? You know, most people would just think it's an average ordinary pencil, but when you have a little bit of bling on it, it becomes a ballerina desk ornament. They supposedly think with what is it, the right side of their brains? I don't think they think with any side of their brains. This venomous brand of prejudice goes from womb to tomb. The sad part is that most people don't realize this prejudice exists, unless you're left-handed, that is. 
if it comes right down to an armed revolt by left-handers, they don't have a chance because the bolt on a rifle is on the right side. I mean, everything is for right-handers. It's, it's prevalent in every aspect of society and every piece of equipment that you work with. Everything's right-handed. To me, this is just standard issue yeah. stuff. There's nothing out of the ordinary about this stuff. I'm sure if you did a statistic, how many right-handed people are there in the world? A lot more. With only 8 to 15 percent of the world's population being lefties, perhaps right-handers should consider these individuals as special. We have the, it looks like just an ordinary empty CD holder, which actually can be used as a uh, piece of prop, shall we say, for a very low budget film. Howard and I were just discussing this earlier today. Can make a very good flying saucer. Special could be special, like special education or a special, very unique. I mean, you could take it either way. It's a specialty. It's a uniqueness. It's kind of a freak show thing. And then here's a bit of wrist bling that uh, Dwayne made for me a couple weeks ago, which there again, most people would probably throw it away. And if people would group together and really just step forward and say, you know what, we're left-handed people and we are going to take charge, I think that we would see a huge difference in this world and everything would be a little less boring. I'm Katie Doles and I am left-handed. <laughs>